Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Richard DiCenso, uh, known also to my patients as Dr. D. <clears throat> now, if you've been watching the previous series of videos, you'll recognize the fact that what we're doing at this point <clears throat> is delving a little deeper into the mechanisms of the matrix assessment profile, which as you know by now is not a test, it's an evaluation process that involves you simply supplying us with samples of urine and saliva in the comfort of your own home, returning them in the prepaid mailers, and then we evaluate the biological fluids as part of a larger evaluation process that includes a number of the elements that are uh, integrated into developing an understanding of why you feel the way you do and what you can do about it. Now, as you'll remember, there are three major realms of influence in the human experience. One of them is the structure. One of them is the biochemistry or the biological environment. And one of them is the virtual realm or the psychological and emotional and spiritual realm that is a whole separate area of influences that we're going to talk about in a separate video. But for the time being, it's important to start to pull the pieces together of understanding what the map process is and why it's something of value to you and something that you should seriously consider if you're suffering from chronic and non-responsive disorders or you've been everywhere, done everything, seen everyone, and have basically been told we can't find anything wrong. Uh, we have to wait and see. We've got to run more tests. The symptoms are normal for your age or the symptoms are all in your head. Now, this is where the map becomes one of, if not the most valuable evaluations that exist today. So we have the three realms of influence guided by seven caveats or principles that served two purposes. One is they were the foundation for me to uh, develop the, an understanding, a deeper understanding of the matrix assessment profile uh, via things like uh, anything can cause anything. But uh, then if anything can cause anything, how do you know what's causing what? And so in essence, it became a, a series of questions of why. And one why uh, provided a solution, but the next why provided the next problem. So if anything can cause anything, how do you know what's causing what? For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. We found out that that doesn't hold up within the context of the matrix assessment profile, because the reality is, is that for every action, there is an action, but it's not necessarily equal and opposite. And thereby we went through a whole series of seven caveats that were guiding principles that allowed me to develop the map into the form that you'll see it as we talk through the process and as you hopefully ultimately engage in the process yourself. Now we talked about the things that you get when you uh, uh, submit the samples for us to evaluate you'll get a uh, written report with therapeutic considerations. You'll get a series of specific recommendations written by me for you, designed entirely to identify and resolve the cause of the symptoms that you're experiencing. You'll also get a series of colored pages, which is primarily what we're talking about in this uh, series of three videos, but you'll also get an understanding of the five-step process involved in resolving your chronic and non-responsive disorders, those primarily being things like identify the cause, get rid of the cause, stop you from creating more of what it is that's causing what you're experiencing, saturating your body with the raw materials that are required to maintain normal function, and then finally, introducing some form of maintenance that's going to allow two things to happen. One is you're going to be able to continue to improve without having to take a bunch of supplements on a daily basis. And number two, it's going to prevent you from backsliding into the original issues that created the compromises that ultimately led to the symptoms 
that were either diagnosed as a disorder or a disease or misdiagnosed. Now, the first page, as you remember, contained a red torso with a bunch of colored bars. And this quantified in a very general sense where the major stresses in the body were. So you'll see things like kidney, mitochondria, pancreas, digestion, virus, bacteria, immunity. These give us a general consensus of where the major stresses are. And then on each of the three pages, there are two other pieces of information that are identical page to page. On the top left hand side, a group of numbers that represent the degree to which any of the compromises that we're seeing in the colored bars are actually skewed from their normal ranges. So in parentheses, you'll see the normal ranges. Outside, you'll see your numbers. And in the first two columns, you'll see a decimal point that represents the fact that we're measuring in 0 0.01 increments, indicating that for every 0 0.01 deviation from normal, it represents approximately six billion molecules of whatever we're looking at. Now you're also going to see a third element in the numbers at the top left hand side, which is one of the questions I get asked most frequently, and that is that there is actually an evaluation of the blood findings. And the question I get is, well, I, I didn't submit blood. I submitted urine and saliva. How do you get blood values based on just urine and saliva? And the answer is quite simple. We incorporated a mathematical algorithm into the process that allows us to predetermine or to um, uh, actually determine what the blood values might be given the deviations from normal in the biological fluids of urine and saliva and thus derive within a 1% accuracy what the blood findings of those fluids might be. Now again at the top right hand side of the page you'll see a series of colored bars ranging from green to red with green being good, red being bad, but more importantly each colored bar represents approximately five years of whatever we're looking at that's been in the process of developing. Now on the second page with the blue torso we get even more specific information you have uh, uh, a number of objectives or physiological indicators ranked on a scale of 1 to 20 with uh, 1 being the best, 20 being the worst, but next to that three colored bars that tell us where in that system the stresses are originating. So the top bar elevated indicates major stress is coming from a sheer overwhelm. We call it congestion and stagnation. The middle bar being elevated indicates that there's a serious compromise in energy production in that system. And the third colored bar simply tells us that the compromises within that particular system are originating with digestion. Now the third page that we're about to talk about contains all of that same information with the exception of an additional series of colored bars ranked on a scale of 0 to 100, with 100 being the worst and 0 being uh, the best. And these colored bars also are associated with the various uh, systems that I referred to on the two previous pages, digestion, immunity, adrenal function, etc. And so what this page allows us to do is to see not only how long the stress has been present, not only to what degree it's com uh, compromising uh, the biological environment, but it ranks it on a scale of 0 to 100 so that we know not only from the information in the previous pages, but now we can quantify in this one single page where it is that we need to initiate our intervention in order to restore the integrity to the biological environment so that if congestion and stagnation shows up on the blue page, congestion and stagnation is number one ranked at 100 on the page with all of the colored bars, then we know there's a high probability given the fact that on the red page we're seeing a whole bunch of red colored bars that congestion and stagnation indicates the fact that we need to initiate our intervention with a specific form of detox to clear the biological environment and restore integrity to the systems 
that function within that environment. So there are plenty more videos to come up. I hope you enjoyed this series of three. I hope you'll continue to follow us on Facebook. Any questions, please email drd.matrix at gmail.com. I'm Dr. Richard DeCenso, and thank you for watching.